everyone. Hello, Facebook. Hello, CVP clients, friends, and family. Welcome to today's free live session of voice coaching here with CVP Coaching, where we sing it like we mean it. So today I am sharing four, maybe more, pro tips. Uh, we're going to use tones to increase our range so that we can sing more of the songs that we love. Now you might be thinking, more tones, more talk about tones. Yes, more talk about tones because tones are what allow us to reach really high and really low when we know how to use them. Hey, Billy. So first I want to just go ahead and review and we're going to use our warm up to review. So we're going to do that in just a moment, but let's make sure that you are adequate adequately set up for today's session. So you wanna make sure that you have water on hand. So important that you have water, you've got to keep your palate wet. Make sure that you have got lots of wiggle room. Make sure that things are out of the way. You've got lots of wiggle room because the further we get into this, the more we are engaging our body. Some of it is because you should want to engage your body when you're singing on stage. And some of it you'll be able to lose once you feel how it should feel in here. You won't need to do these kind of awkward movements uh, in order to achieve the sound because you'll understand how to achieve that tone without all that physical movement. But physical movement is great. It's really good for us, especially right now when we're in a season of such stagnation. Okay, also you wanna make sure that you're in a place where you can make noise and no one's going to run in the room and wonder what you're up to and interrupt your free voice session today, okay? All right, so I just wanna remind you, I'm voice coach Lisa Marie and I transform passionate singers into skilled, authentic, engaging performers. My clients range everywhere from in age, from school age all the way through 60 plus. Uh, they sing everywhere from the shower to karaoke to I have choir members, choir leaders, and worship team members, and they also are, some are professional artists who are wanting to make a career out of this. So if you fall anywhere into any one of those categories, if you just wanna learn more about singing, then you are welcome here today. Contemporary voice and performance coaching means that we cover everything outside of our classical singing, our opera singers, their choir is stepping off the stage, they're over here on the side, and all the rest of us are on the stage. And if you are classically trained and you wanna know more about contemporary singing, then you just come right over here and join us on the stage. So everything over here is our R&B, our rock, country, contemporary Christian, gospel. If you fit into any of those, and probably some I haven't mentioned each time, then you are welcome. Hey, Anna, so great to see you. All right. So give me a thumbs up if you've got your water and you're all ready to go and we're going to jump right in. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we always start in the same place. So first thing we wanna know is we wanna make sure we have enough room for our arms, never pass your shoulders because then you're constricting the lungs. We want to fill our air tank. Where's your air tank? Show me your air tank. It's right there, that's exactly right. Let me turn this down just a little bit, okay? So we're gonna take that, we're gonna breathe in air, exhale voice with just a simple ha, okay? Just like this. Ha! With me. Ha! All right, now we're gonna go to hey, it's warmer on the face, okay? Do it with me. more time with me. Make sure you keep your knees a little bit bent. I don't want anybody blacking out. Okay, and let's go. Hey, great. Now we're going to just uh, warm up the voice, kind of get the vocal cords uh, going and get that good stretch in that jaw. Oh, do that with me. Take a big breath. Oh, one more time, make sure you've got, you should be able to feel a space between the upper and lower jaw right here. Take that big breath. Oh. All right, now where we left off and we're going to scoop back down. Okay, so we left off at ah, oh, so we're gonna go ah, oh, with me, ah, oh. excellent, one more time. Oh, notice I'm 
slowing it down each time because I want to hear more of those tones, not just notes, but tones. I'm changing tones, right? Because if I wasn't changing tones, I would hit the floor. Even here in the middle of my range, if I don't change tones, I'm going to hit the floor. I'm going to demonstrate. Ah, I'm not allowing these muscles to move, so I'm hitting the floor. Ah, okay, so I, so if you can now say, oh, everybody give out that expression. Oh, okay. Ah, one more time. Now we're going to start kind of in the middle of that and we're going to drive it lower, okay? Uh, you hear that? Now remember, you just have to listen to how I'm doing this. The larynx, that's the name of our instrument. The larynx learns from hearing. So as you hear me do it, don't think about how to do it. There is no thinking in singing. Do not think about how to do it because you will think yourself right out of it just to let, like if any more than i can think about how to wave i don't think about how to wave i just think wave and i wave so just think do what i'm doing repeat what you hear and then repeat what you hear okay uh, okay we're gonna go back and we're gonna revisit many of you messaged me and said you wanted to revisit the um, expressing your disappointment. Okay, so remember we're going to keep our head in line with our shoulders. It's not stiff, in fact, you're very loose, okay? Just don't drop your chin like that. That's not, that's not the exercise. So the exercise is to fall forward, okay? So just fall forward, okay? And now we're going to take a breath and we're gonna say, oh, hear how low I'm able to get, okay? I'm not going, Oh, oh, I'm hitting the floor. Okay, so you want to make sure that you let your voice go ahead and fall all the way down. Oh, very good. Okay, let's see how low we can go. Oh, that's probably my lowest. Okay, I can even talk down there. All right, how do you know when something's out of your range? Even if you watch this later, I want to hear your answer to this question. How do you know when something's out of your range? Typically, people tell me, oh, well, when it sounds terrible. Well, then that would mean that a whole lot of notes might be out of your range because we can sound terrible at any given moment if we did not adequately approach that note, okay? So, no, it is when you no longer make a sound. No sound comes out. So, for me, I get down to, oh... That note is in my range. Hopefully I wouldn't have to spend a lot of time there. You know, maybe I'm singing Tony Braxton, uh, Unbreak My Heart, right? Unbreak my heart, say you love me again. Undo this hurt you caused, right? So she's low for so much of that. I'm trying to think of the, the second verse. There's this part. I can't expect the day you left. Life was so unkind. Right? So it's not only important that we're able to get down there and dig that note out, but can we dig ourselves back out when we're done? Okay? So I'm going to show you guys an exercise. I call this Stone Cold. I call it Stone Cold from Demi Lovato's Stone Cold. So say Stone Cold, like a stone that you throw and cold. Okay? Stone Cold. Big breath. Stone Cold. Okay, now I want you to imagine that you are a, um, you're in a play and you've been cast as the ogre, okay? And you're gonna walk across the stage. This is how you get introduced to the audience. You're just walking across the stage and you're saying stone cold, but you're not saying stone cold, you're saying stone cold. Okay, try that with me, nice big breath. And I want you to remember, we sing vowels, video number two. If you haven't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch that video. We sing vowels and we say consonants. So we hold on to that vowel. Stone cold. Okay? I want you to say stone cold to me 
when you're doing it, okay? Once you get it, all right? So you really gotta drop that jaw. We're gonna drop our jaw and we're gonna walk. Stone cold, stone cold. Believe it or not, all of these different movements, they really help, okay? It helps you to get that voice down there. It helps you to dig it out. We want to dig that out, okay? All right, hopefully you did your stone cold. Please hit that well button anytime I say something that really resonates with you and you say, wow, I didn't, I didn't realize that or, you know, I've heard that forever and I never really understood it and, and that really helped me. I appreciate you guys private messaging me um, about your comments and your questions, but go ahead and put that right there in the comments because people may uh, also um, have the same, the same thought as you're having, okay? Uh, the reason why I'm doing this, people are asking, well, why are you doing this? Well, one is because I miss my clients. Um, also, because I want clients, to, I want singers to understand. I want every singer. And, and if, if you love you, well, I'm not a singer. Well, do you walk around singing all the time? Do you love to sing? Do you wish you could sing? Then you're a singer. When you're here, you're a singer, okay? Because uh, we're not talking about a professional singer. You know what makes someone a professional singer? It's not how good they are. It's not how trained they are. It's whether or not they make 50% or more of their income as a singer. So there are lots of phenomenal singers that are not professional because they are still doing their day job while they pursue their dream, okay? So a professional singer is not determined by how well you sing, okay? We're not trying to be professional singers. We're just trying to be singers, right? We just want to be better singers, better for choir, uh, better for ourselves, better for when we go out with our friends, just better singers because we like it, all right? And because we have the time to do it right now, all right? So what I want you to know is that most of the time, and I've said this before, and I hope this really resonates with you, is that it is not typically when you are not hitting something. You know, I want you to think about a song that, man, it, you sing it, you love it, but you always kind of have to drop out when maybe the chorus comes along. Why? Because typically most contemporary songs are most modern. When I say contemporary, I'm talking about like the most, the latest songs, okay? Their verses are right here, you know, where we're talking about pop, we're talking about contemporary Christian gospel. Um, they're, even country does this. Their, their verses are right here. Rock does this. Their verses are right here. La, la, la. And then all of a sudden they get to that chorus and they take it up. Right? And they come back to the verse and they sing the second verse and then they take it up. And then as if that's not bad enough and they're already leaving us in the dust and we're, we're struggling to stay with them, then they get to the bridge. They get to the bridge and they completely leave us behind because the bridge is the big climax of the whole song. It's the big moment. It's where they really show us their range. Okay, so how do we do that? All right, we do that with tones. We do that by pulling our middle voice up as high as it'll go. All right, so it is not a matter of your ability. It is a matter of your approach. Most of the time, I, I, I really can't even think of a time when a client brought me a song that by the time we got to the end of the session, we just said, you know what, I just, I think you need to just give up and pick a different song. You just can't do it, okay? We stay at it and we stay at it until that client is able to understand what tone they need to tap into. And here's the thing. You know, our, our break, when I go from chest voice, remember we talked about chest voice and head voice, right? If this was a, if this was my keyboard, here's my low keys, here's my middle keys, here's my high keys. And if I take that keyboard and I stand it up, then here's my high keys and here's my low keys. This is my chest voice and this is my head voice, okay? Most of us can hit our head voice, most of us can hit our chest voice, and it's that middle range that we just don't know how to do, all right? And we achieve that with our middle voice, our blended voice, and that's when we put chest and head together we, by using our vocal chemistry set, all right? And so that's how we do that. So we gotta pull that chest voice up high, and if you are willing, here's what I say. I say take your lyrics and you read, if it's a high part of the song, get the lyrics, print them out, the words of the song, and look at those lyrics. Oh, did I go somewhere? You just said you're back. Uh, so take those lyrics, and put them, um, take them out and read them. And I want you to imagine, this is what I say, I want you to imagine that you're in a play and you have been cast as the crazy person in the village who just walks around making announcements that nobody cares about, okay? So you just take those lyrics and you just read them in a high pitch without allowing this, without allowing head voice, you stay in that chest voice and you just say those lyrics. And that is middle voice. The way you say it is the way
way you say it. That is the easiest way to understand middle voice, okay? All right, so let's see. So we, that was our first uh, exercise there. So now I want to make sure that you understand the difference. So whenever we do our warm-ups, we go, ah. Do that with me. Ah. Make sure you take that big breath. Ah. One more time. Ah, so we are gliding through different tones, okay? So it may not be very obvious that we're even hitting different tones. Ah, one more time with me. Ah, okay, but what if we park on each tone? Ah, it's a little easier to hear different tones, okay? If I stay in the same tone, it would sound like this. Ah, but when I move through tones, I allow it to become a little softer with not using breath, but simply blending in with my vocal chemistry set, using getting a little bit of head voice in there. Ah, okay. So now I'm gonna go backward. Oh, I'm starting there. It's not ah, it's ah, ah, with me. that I'm using, I call this a flip. I'm flipping my voice like a light switch. Ah, okay, I also call this exercise the donkey. Ah, notice I'm not going ah, it's two notes. Ah, two different tones. See how it's like a donkey? We're gonna speed that up a little, listen. Ah, with me. Ah, Type in donkey if you're able to do this. Ah, again, ah. All right, now we're gonna go the other direction, the submarine. Ah, use that first note to launch you into the second note. Ah, ah. Now we're gonna isolate five so that you'll remember what it's supposed to sound like. Ah, it's not ah, it's ah. I'm achieving that by dropping my jaw. Oh, again. Oh, okay, now I'm gonna go from here. Go, go, let's go this way first. Oh, oh, oh. again. Oh, 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 great. Now go the other direction. Oh, oh, one more time. Oh, oh. Now, it's a little easier to get that flip in there when we're this far apart, but when we put two, three, and four back in there, it's a little bit harder. So make sure that you know where you're putting it back in. Make a note, okay? The longer you wait, the more obvious it's gonna be to the audience, okay? So, ah. Uh, notice how you don't hear a flip when I do it, and that's because I'm blending in. I've got my voice chemistry set up, and I'm blending in just a little bit on each one. Ah, ah, join me if you haven't joined me. Ah, okay, so let's check just five by itself. Ah, again. Ah, is that how it's sounding when you're coming up from through one, two, three, four to five? Ah. That's your goal. That's how you figure out what is my goal? What, what is the tone that I want to achieve? Isolate the word, sing it by itself, and go, okay, that's as good as it can sound. Add just one word back. So, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. and if that sounds good, then add the, the next one. Ah, oh, ah, oh, and keep adding. Ah, oh, and then you get your whole phrase. What I see a lot of clients do 
is we'll work on one word that's at the end of the phrase, like, ah, and then we'll work on it, ah, ah, and I'll say, ah, and they'll keep going back to the beginning, ah, and they're like, I'm not doing it right. Well, that's because they're approaching it from the, all the way back here. And so by the time they get there, they're going to do what they've always done, the way that they practiced it before we started working on it. And it's still going to be incorrect, you know, because practice makes perfect, right? But perfect practice makes perfect, okay? A pra perfect practice makes permanent. Practice makes permanent. But perfect practice makes perfect. That's what I meant to say, okay? So sometimes the hardest thing that we have to learn, always, the hardest thing that we have to learn is... What, the things that we have to unlearn. And that's, that's, singing is in such an interesting category. It really is because when you come to singing lessons, you've already been singing for your whole life probably. And so we have to go in and figure out what are the things that you have learned, you've taught yourself that weren't exactly right. And we have to undo those. And that can be a lot harder than, say, taking up maybe golf or uh, some sport that really requires a lot of skill that you've never tried before. And so you immediately go in and you take golfing lessons and you're going to learn how to do it correctly from the get-go. So it's a lot different. And it can be a little bit easier uh, in that respect. Okay, so we are doing, so we've done our gliding. Ah, where you don't hear anything. And then, ah. Okay, so I want you to try this with me. So we've gone, oh, you hear that deliberate flip? Let me take those out. Oh. So what we want to do is we're going to put that flip in there, but I want us to be able to control. I want to see if you can control where you flip your voice. Okay, so I'm going to hold on to chest voice one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to flip before I get to five. Okay. Ah. Uh, Ah, all right, try that with me. Ah, make sure that you're doing two things. Make sure you're taking that really big breath and you're glocking. Remember, glocking is up, uh, okay? So don't start with an H, because that's automatically, it's going to make you softer, no power, you won't have any control, and it's going to put more head voice in it than you want, okay? So glocking. Ah, Okay, now we're gonna try, and we're gonna try and put that right here, all right? So listen, so one, two, three, and then flip four, five. Oh, again, oh, again, oh, again, oh. Okay, now we're going to flip here, all right? So we're gonna go one, two, flip, three, four, five. Oh, again. Oh, again. Oh, again. Oh, all right. How are you doing with that? Let me know that you're still online, that I'm still online. Somebody said that they were having connectivity issues. I hope not. Uh, we're going to go here and we're going to flip right in between one and two. Okay, so it'll be one flip, two, three, four, five. All right. Oh, oh, again. Oh, oh. All right, very nice. Okay, so that's tip number two, three. I'm not sure which one are we on. I don't remember. Here again, oh no, does that mean that you guys aren't seeing me? Um, I'm not sure what that means. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going. I hope my side says live, so I'm hoping that it's still live. I don't know why everyone keeps saying that they're not really seeing me. Um, okay, so remember, I want to really remind you that glocking is so important for for high chest. Okay, so I don't actually I don't even think I really talked about the importance of glocking for high chest. Okay, glocking is really important for when you start phrases up in your up in your middle range. When we're up here, we're doing this kind of singing. Okay, uh, so we're gonna look at a line from an Alicia Keys song. Um, if I ain't got you, baby. Okay, if I ain't got you, baby. If I ain't got a you, baby. All right. So uh, we're going to do that. So it's, I know it's not proper English, okay, but it's proper lyric. If I ain't got you, baby. No, I'm sorry. If it ain't you, baby. If I ain't got you. 
if it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got you. Okay. All right. So that's what it was. All right. Yes. If it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got you. All right. So I want you to repeat what you hear. We're going to recite for rehearsal, which means that we are speaking it up in pitch in the tempo of the song. If it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got you with me, if it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got you. Now, remember, I'm to notice there's two phrases. So there's a and there's a quick pause, which means you need a quick catch breath. That starter breath starts you at 100 percent full air tank. And then you want to refill immediately, even though it was a very quick little moment. OK, if it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got you. OK, one more time. If it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got you. All right, we're going to sing that. Listen. If it ain't you, baby. Just that part. If it ain't you, baby. And wherever you are, okay? Because I know we've got guys and girls that are watching this at different times. So if that's too high, then I want you to be up in that where you, wherever you spoke it, wherever you could comfortably speak it without needing any head voice. That's where I want you to sing it. Sing it, okay? If it ain't you, baby. One more time. If it ain't you, baby. Okay? And next we'll do, if I ain't got you. Notice when we say it, it's if I ain't got you. Ain't starts with a vowel. We say ain't. We don't say hain't. We don't say if I ain't got you. See how even when I'm speaking, my voice just disappears right there. Okay? In fact, let me get a little bit of water. Hope you have water. Water break. All right. If I ain't got you, the way we say it is the way we sing it. Okay. If I ain't, if I ain't got you, baby. If I ain't got you, baby. If I ain't got you, baby. Hopefully you've joined me. Sing with me. If I ain't got you, baby. And if that's too high for some of you, if I ain't got you, baby. If I ain't got you, baby. Join me two more times. If I ain't got you, baby. If I ain't got you, baby. Now notice, I am smiling. I'm smiling because I'm on camera. But I'm also smiling because that helps me, that scrunchy smile. And that's our next tip. That scrunchy smile is going to help you to bring that chest voice up. It's wonderful that God designed it so that when we smile, it warms up our voice. Okay, notice the difference. If I ain't got you, baby. If I ain't got you, baby. See how that brightens up my tone? You brighten up your face and you brighten up your tone. They work together. It's by design. Okay, great. So we've already talked about, we did Stone Cold. We did If I Ain't Got You. Okay. Good, we did our light switch. Okay, that light switch is really, really important. Ah, ah, ah. Making sure that you can do that. Th listen, that one right there, that's one that you can practice in the car. You can practice, you're just driving around because you don't have to have perfect posture, you don't have to be really loud. Ah, ah, ah. Just think donkey, ah, ah and submarine. Ah, Okay, I don't really know if submarines make that sound. For some reason, that's what I think of. I think of a submarine. Oh, okay. So we've covered that. Good. And then also play that game. Trying to trying to flip your voice at a different place. Uh, we just pick five notes. Okay. All right. So in case you're wondering what we were doing earlier. I'm not sure how much of this you guys are hearing. I'm so disappointed that we're having, we're having uh, connectivity issues. That's such a bummer. Okay, so I want to um, also talk to you about, you know, singing. I mentioned earlier that singing is such a unique category, and, and I wish I would have said this, you know, every single time, because here's the thing. When you're listening to a singer, we are all guilty of this. As singers, we're guilty of it. As non-singers, we're guilty of it. I feel like everybody's guilty of it, okay? We, singers get no grace, 
compared to other talents, okay? So if you, there is a wonderful video that I love. Um, it's called Oh My Soul by Casting Crowns. And the video is this, this ballerina and she's obviously very skilled. She, she's on point, which means she's on her toes. And she keeps, she keeps falling down and falling down and she's getting dirtier and dirtier and dirtier, but she just keeps trying, she keeps getting up and she keeps trying, okay? And when I watch that, I think, you know, if I were walking past a storefront and this ballerina were in there and I was watching her fall down and fall down and fall down, it would never occur to me, you know, she's probably just, this isn't right for her, she's not very good at it, she, she shouldn't dance. I would think, wow, she's really trying some, some hard stuff. She's obviously trying to get to that next level. She's trying to do things she doesn't know how to do yet, right? We, 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 we put that yet on there. We give them that grace of yet. But with singers, we listen to a singer and we just decide whether or not they're any good. They can sing, they cannot sing. They should sing, they should not sing. And it's so unfair because they're doing exactly what that ballerina was doing. They're just trying to get better. They're trying, they're reaching for things, for uh, skills, techniques that are just beyond their abilities at this point. And again, it's not their ability, it's their approach. And they just haven't learned how to approach it yet. Or maybe they know how to approach it, but it's inconsistent. They're just not able to be consistent. Um, every one of my clients has said that after their first session, they notice a total difference in the way that they're singing. But then they come back and they go, Okay, I, I don't. I can't seem to do outside of the studio with uh, what I do in here with you. Uh, I even have students who go to a recording. So I actually go to recording studios with some of my clients because they literally want me to just stand there and remind them because there's so many different things that we want to try and remember uh, that we want to make sure that we apply when we're laying when you're laying down a permanent recording of your voice. There's lots of things you want to try and remember, and you just want somebody to coach you know standing there coaching you because they'll say like, man, I went to this, I thought I was totally ready. I got there and I just forgot like half of the things I was supposed to remember because there's that nervousness about knowing that you're going to be uh, laying down a permanent recording of your voice. Um, you know, nerves steal half of our energy. They steal half of our breath. And so that's why we have to, as I mentioned yesterday, we have to go over here to exaggeration land and we have to exaggerate absolutely everything. Uh, I say, even when you're practicing your singing, make sure that you're, you're comfortable doing whatever with your body so that when you get on stage, you'll still remember to just, to just do this and you won't go stiff as a board. Um, practice making facial expressions, practice really expressing those, those words and those emotions so that you don't look like this when you get on stage. You wanna make sure that you're, you're expressing all of those things, okay? So listen, um, if you're working on your singing, you know, keep watching these videos, they will help you. You know, when I go to, a, um, when I work out with my daughter who, who uh, has been a personal trainer, my son-in-law who owns a gym, I walk out with them online and stuff, and sometimes the move, the more subtle the movement, it just really seems like it's not doing anything. But oh my gosh, it's isolating that muscle in such a way that the next day I can barely move that muscle group. So these exercises, I promise you, they are going to give you results if you do them consistently. If you watch these videos consistently, you will get results. You can improve your singing. You can achieve those singing uh, skills. You can acquire those singing skills. You will increase your range. You will learn how to get more power, but you've got to stick to it. You've got to stick to it. You've got to do it uh, every day, just a little bit every day. Just being more mindful when you're singing of using proper technique, making sure that you're getting that good breath, making sure that you're singing your vowels and you're saying your consonants Okay, making sure that when you're, that you're using your tones and you're digging out those tones and you're using your high chest voice to reach up to those other notes, okay? All right, well, I think that we've covered everything that we were gonna do, except that I want us to go back and I'm going to, fill, oh, let's see, hold on one second, no. Let's go back. Okay, I'm gonna flip this camera like we did the other day so you guys can see all of these. So we're gonna do this exercise again to see how, how we're progressing, okay? With our skills. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me know if you can see it. Okay, is that better? All right, good. Okay, so repeat what you hear. I wanna, I'm gonna start again. I wanna sing like all my favorite singers. One more time. I wanna sing like all my favorite singers. 
I love to sing with all I've got. I love to sing with all I've got. I love to sing with all I've got. Okay? Uh, I want to sing with all my heart and soul. One more time. I want to sing with all my heart and soul. One more time. I want to sing with all my heart and soul. I hope you're catching that catch breath after sing. That's how we reset our tone. The larynx will automatically go to the right tone, to the correct tone, whenever we take that catch breath. I love to sing and I'll never stop. I love to sing and I'll never stop. Yeah, I started too high the first time. I love to sing and I'll never stop. All right. I want to sing like all my favorite singers. With me. I want to sing like all my favorite singers. One more time. I want to sing like all my favorite singers. Hear all those tones. All right, next line. I love to sing with all I've got. With me. I love to sing with all I've got. One more time. I love to sing with all I've got. And next line. I want to sing just that much. Really got to dig that out, give it a big scoop of ice cream. I want to sing. And last time, I want to sing. Cash breath moving on. With all my heart and soul. Notice even after with all, another cash breath. With all my heart and soul. Okay, we're going to put that all together. I'll do it once. I want to sing with all my heart and soul. With me. I want to sing with all my heart and soul. Last line, listen. I love to sing and I'll never stop. Got to stay on that vowel. We sing vowels. Never stop with me from I love. I love to sing and I'll never stop. So there's so much happening here. I'm taking that catch breath. I love to sing. I'm glocking and and I'm making sure that I stay on that vowel. I'll, I love to sing and I'll never stop with me. I love to sing and I'll never stop. Very nice. I hope you found this helpful. I'm so sorry that audio cut out. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a way that I can fix that. I certainly will look into it and try and get the audio in there. It's kind of the whole point of a voice lesson. It's hard to do a voice lesson without any audio. Please uh, like and share this on your pages if you found it uh, interesting, helpful, fun to do, and tag your friends in it if you think that they would benefit from it. I'm voice coach Lisa Marie. This is video number five. What's today? Thursday. Video number five of six. There will be one more tomorrow. I started last Friday. So please go back and watch those. And I thank you for joining me and have a blessed day.